I am Anil Kumar and now we are discussing rates of change of trigonometric functions. We are almost at the end of unit 6, trigonometric functions. We will also review some concepts and then get ready for the test. For the graph of the function f of x equals to 2 sine half x plus 1, state two intervals in which average rate of change in f of x is 0, a negative value, a positive value. So let's sketch the sine function first, which kind of looks like this, right? So, so that's a neat sine function. We are given the equation without any horizontal translations. So this becomes the x-axis. Sorry, this becomes the axis of symmetry, which should be at y equals to 1, correct? So in our case, let me use another ink for x and y axis. So the whole unit has moved one unit up. The amplitude is 2. So let me first, you know, complete this as I started with. This is x is of y equals to 1. Amplitude is 2. That means the top part will be, the maximum value will be 1 plus 2 is 3. And this will be at 1 minus 2, which will be minus 1, correct? Now this helps us to draw the axis, which should be at 0, of course. So, so we'll take this as a mean value here and sketch it, correct? There is no horizontal translation, so y axis is right there. That's f of x now for us. Now we need to sketch this f of x. Uh, we know time period is k value for us is half, right? That is half x. So t will be 2 pi by k, which is 2 pi by half or equals to 4 pi, correct? So, I mean 2 pi by half, which is 4 pi. So on the x-axis, this point is 4 pi for us. Let me write it down, 4 pi. So the center value should be at 2 pi, right? This will be half of 2 pi, which is pi. So 1 pi, 2 pi, this should be 3 pi. Perfect, right? So that is how our graph will look like for y f of x equals to 2 sine half x plus 1, right? Now, let's look into what we need. We need average rate of change of f of x is zero right so i could have drawn two waves to give you two different points what i can now do is i can just extend it to this side kind of okay let's do like that fine now it is not that accurate but we'll consider here okay when we say find two points for average rate to be zero, that means they could be on the same line, right? So these are good two points to consider. So the two points could be from zero to two pi, right? So average rate will be zero. They, that's horizontal, right? So it's zero, right? So one set of points could be uh, from zero to two pi, correct? The other, we could take from 2 pi to 4 pi, right? So the other could be from 2 pi to 4 pi. So that will give us zero average rate of change. As far as the negative value is concerned, for negative value, we know tangent should be going downwards, right? So any points in this side will give us negative value, right? So if I take from, for example, pi to 3 pi, then I get a negative rate of change, right? So I can write this as from pi where x is between pi and 3 pi, right? That becomes one of the points, right? The second one which I could take is since the time period is 4 pi, we can always add 4 pi to these values, right? So the next point, of course, will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So pi plus 4 pi is 5 pi, correct? So I could write 5 pi to, we are adding 4 here, right? So 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7 pi. So that is how anywhere in between we are going to get negative value. Perfect. So this, this is a negative slope. 
positive is in this direction perfect so we could take points which are let us say so this is pi this will be minus pi for us right now so it could be from minus pi to pi right we could say 0 to pi also you could take from in between this is also negative right so let me write I mean the positive slope so I could take 0 to pi right so from 0 to pi is positive I could take from 3 pi to 4 pi even 5 pi so I could take 3 pi to 5 pi for example this is also going to give me positive tangent or the average rate of change will be positive right now as an added exercise can you tell me which point here will give you maximum instantaneous rate of change we'll talk about it later but actually you should know that wherever the concavity changes so these are the points where you get maximum instantaneous rate of change right okay we'll see that later thank you and all the best